Okay, hello. Uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, February 28th of 2019. It's uh, about 12.30 p.m. It's cold here in, it's like, a, I think it may be, uh, let's see. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 31 degrees. Tonight, expect a low of 31 degrees. I took the mail to the mailbox a few minutes ago. That's how I was dressed. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not at, I wasn't at the, uh, wasn't at the North Pole. It was right here in Fort Worth, Texas. I look like a wimp, don't I? Believe me, all my uh, life, I I worked uh, a lot of the time out all day long in the heat or in blizzards or whatever. I've uh, I just playing a little bit here with Streamlabs OBS. Uh, version 0 0.11.15 uh, I tried to go live with it and it I think it may have created let me see here let me go to um, up here go to my channel go to videos Mm, not showing any, uh, I was getting an indication that I did have, that it was even a couple uh, Facebook posts or whatever popped up on my screen saying that uh, Jim Howard, you know, is live on YouTube and then it would say, you know, another one would pop up saying he's live, you know. So I thought I'd find some, well, let me go to, uh, let me go here, YouTube Studio, and see if there's some listed here. If so, it'll probably be just for a few seconds that they're listed, or just showing a length of a few seconds. I'm still using the same two monitors, 4K but not in 4K mode, and uh, 1080p over here. Okay, let's go to videos. We're in uh, YouTube Studio Beta. Let's go to Live. May show that I have a one up scheduled. Yeah, that's what it's showing. I have two upcoming, uh, which they're not. So these others were not recorded. Let's see, delete. Yes delete that I'm going to be doing a and uh, delete yes delete that notice and that's it so um, See, where do I want to, no, let's see. Uh, I had in the last two days, uh, well, let's just take the last one. A few hours ago, I got a notice for the uh, upgrade on Windows 10. And let's see. Oh, I've got another one. I think this may have done this like two or three times in a row. Huh. It says uh, Windows 10 Insider Preview. That's the same number that I had before. Pending restart. This update is ready to install. We need you to 
help decide whether to restart so we can finish up. So I think that's what it is. I think I had like two times I saw a restall. I think it's the same restall that is for Windows 10 Insider Preview and then that number there, which I did a search on and it really did not give much information. Usually you do a search and you get a whole, I didn't get a bunch of information. So uh, here's the update history. Uh, let's see. See, it's showing the same. Yeah, that's what it is. Looks like it's actually three times. Well, maybe this is the third time. So. So that's what that was all about. I thought I was going to be able to maybe tell you about something new that was going to be available. You know, I'm always changing things. I'm thinking about uh, either putting this Blue Yeti back on a mic stand. It's really heavy though. When I put it on the mic stand, I've got a, I got a, the weight here I need to put on the thing so it doesn't come crashing down, hit me in the face or break one of my monitors or something. Or thinking about going to a different microphone again then in which case I'd probably use one of the uh, sound cards and sometimes we run into trouble with that haven't we over the time. Um, oh, I do have something here I want to show you. Republicans ask for investigation of Cohen. Oh my God, you know. Republicans asked for investigation of Cohen. I was really worried when, uh, I don't think Trump's back yet, but when Trump was in Vietnam negotiating, because he's such a good no negotiator, right? Uh, with uh, his lover, Kim Young. Um, that's what he calls him. That says he says they're lover, Trump says they're lovers. Um, I was really worried. I'm glad that things have broken off or whatever because Trump is really, he doesn't, he's not smart at all. Very dumb, unbelievable. That somebody that dumb could be elected president of the United States, hell, there's, I, I might have a chance. Um, but I was afraid he might do something over there. I, but I guess his people around him must have, you know, in order to, he wants to win a Pulitzer Prize priest peach peach man I can't get it a uh, uh, peace prize uh, so I was afraid he, I'm glad that he's that it is broken off because I was afraid he might do something you know he is the most powerful man in the world, and if he, you know, so apparently, whatever he said, because I just saw it here, um, that apparently, whatever Trump said, uh, North Korea is now refuting it and saying no. Uh, what he said is not correct. So where is that here? I saw it someplace. We got all this other stuff going on. Something like that doesn't even uh, rate uh, top spot. Uh, 
Let's see. I, there hasn't been much talk about this. I've seen this uh, a couple times, but I I thought there'd be a lot of people going crazy on YouTube about this. A Florida mother said that on the YouTube Kids channel that her and her kids were watching a kid's I think it was even a cartoon or or uh, animation or something like that and that uh, a short video popped up in the middle with instructions by a guy on how for kids on how to properly commit suicide and then the, the, then it ended and the thing continued uh, Yeah, I mean, YouTube has major, I mean, they need on the, I've never been to the kids channel, I guess, I don't have any kids, but I'm sure it's available or something for free, and I'm a, I pay for a YouTube premium, or whatever, have no desire to see a kids channel, but, uh, I, uh, they do need to monitor that. Now, of course, I know they talk about the, you know, and of course for the rest of the tremendous, well, here I am, you know, uploading a bunch of trash. And, uh, I mean, they just have so much stuff to watch. But it seems like they could assign some people to check some things like uh, somebody who wants to upload video who's brand new uh, watch them you know have somebody assigned to okay these people over here want to you know put them in a a cycle there and and say you know well somebody has to actually monitor your uh, you know the the first time you upload maybe the second and maybe it'd be something like, you know, that you may be checked again or, or something. I worked the uh, 2000 census here in the United States every 10 years. It's required in the Constitution. Very few things are in the United States Constitution. It's a great document. Not working so great now, but it used to. But there's very few things in it. It was filled out later. I mean, it wasn't added to, it was just, what was added to, but, you know, uh, things are not spelled out in great detail there. But the one of the things that was in there and is in there is that every 10 years a census will be done. And uh, so in the, I worked the 2000 census, and it takes a lot of people to do it. And uh, so we had our, our training, and then we, you know, were given our area and given the uh, census forms to go and do. And that census, we did a, a, it was a short form and a long form. And I forget, I think every seven or eight was a long form. That was a, uh, and um, I don't think they even do the long form anymore, I don't think. But what I didn't know, maybe I was sleeping during the orientation or whatever. Anyway, I was, you know, I was going and telling people, okay, you know, let's get this taken care of and then you don't have to worry about it for 10 years. Then I started running into a few people say, uh, well, we already did it. And I said, well, I got you on my list. Let's go ahead and just do it, you know. And it wasn't too hard on the short form, but on the long form, people were, you know. So I remember one guy was 100 years old or 101, lived down on a farm. When I pulled up there, he was out, <laughs> got off his tractor or whatever and came over. 
And uh, I did, you know, the thing, and I said, okay, let's say Smith. Okay, Mr. Smith, I'll be back in 10 years to, uh, to do your, uh, the, you know, the 2010. And he says, young man, I'm a, I'm a hundred years old. And I said, I'm going to be back here in 10 years and, and we'll do this again. So you're all done now. Okay, what I found out was that the census workers are checked on. So I was being, everybody, you know, we were all checked on. So I, I don't know how many, so like out of every 10 that we did, they didn't just send out another census worker to come out and say, uh, was Jim Howard here? And, and they came out and said, we have to do the, you know, and they did the thing over again. And then towards the end of the census, uh, when they got down and you know, we, we were running out of form, I mean, we, you know, so anyway, uh, the supervisor or whatever says, okay, these are ones you need to go out and do some checks on, you know, people, census workers who had done. So here, go out and do these. So I went out and did those. And then I found out later that I would be also checked on for, you know, out of, I don't know. So YouTube needs to do something like that. I mean, not, not that crazy, but of course, but needs to do something like that. Okay, uh, this started out to be a test of Streamlabs. Um, let's pull this over here so you can see it. This started out to be a check of this, and uh, it picks up live and in living color, but it didn't work out. I found this. I, I was been look, sort of looking for it. You're not going to be able to see it very well, but this is from Link Up Magazine in uh, March of '84, and I started my computer bulletin board system online in uh, April, I believe, of 1982. So this is two years later, and this is the magazine article. The the paper is getting so old that it's, uh, I need to uh, do a scan of it, maybe with a scan. Uh, the picture, I, I, whatever this picture was is, you know, the light and everything has killed it. But it's, uh, the article is by uh, Rick Manning and uh, top 10 ports of call for the BBS traveler. And uh, so, By some accounts, there are more than 1,500 computer bullet board systems scattered across the United States. This was in 84. Believe me, there was probably more of those then than uh, that. But this is 10 picks that this guy picks the best. And so a circus of fun is one of them. Software gallery is another. Uh, Fantasy Plaza is one. Uh, uh, let's see. Exec PC is one. Dramcom is one. They give the phone number too. <laughs> By the way, don't call the phone number. The next one is Howard's Notebook. Of course, the headline for that is the Discless BBS. Then there is uh, Pirate's Cove, Mines of Morala, and uh, Satellite Cable TV Network. It says here, Rick Manning, it doesn't exist anymore, is editor of Plum, a newsletter that specializes in news and features about computer bulletin boards. Let's see. Then it gives his source ID, his CompuServe ID, or write him at, and it gives the, uh, his address. So I'm going to read to you, it's not long, right here in the middle, by the way. You see the big text right in the middle? Jim Howard's board in Raymore, Missouri may be the only personal BBS in the country that operates without this drives. 
without disk storage. So I'm going to read it to you and uh, as soon as I can find it. Oops. Let's see. It's just, oh, here it is over here on this side. Are we ready? Maybe I need to turn on more light. Okay, maybe not. The Discless BBS, Howard's Notebook, gives the phone number. A lot of boards try to compete with the Source and CompuServe. They have dozens of specialized interest sections, sections, a command line two feet long, and multi-megabytes of storage. But Jim Howard's board in Raymore, Missouri, may be the only personal BBS in the country that operates without disk storage. Howard wanted to start a board for his TRS-80 Model 1, but friends told him he couldn't be done without at least one disk drive. He even consulted the author of a popular BBS program for the TRS-80, and he too said forget it. Two weeks later I had my system up and running, Howard said. Howard's notebook is now running 24 hours a day using the computer's internal 48K for messages and storage and a tape drive to record logins, data, and feedback. The board is an informal, the board is, is as informal as a personal notebook. Callers are greeted with a modest menu of 10 numbered items rather than an alphabet soup of commands that speed past faster than you can remember them. My system is ideal for the first time callers because everything is on the screen, Howard said. If they make a mistake, they get right back to the menu. One of the menu choices is a chatty letter from Howard that discusses his latest tinkerings with the system or his opinions on the general state of BBS communications. Another menu choice reviews excerpts from Howard's fan mail, and a third contains information on computer groups, local BBS numbers, and computer ham networks. The board does not have a public message section. The system is constantly under re redesign I add something new whenever people give me suggestions or when I can see something I like in a magazine. I installed a chat function and really got hooked on that. Adding a disk drive, adding a disk drive however, seems unlikely. Every time I think about going with a disk, some of these local systems crash and they lose their data and the op Operators have to send off their drives to be repaired. Sometimes I think I'm much better off. That is it. I, by the way, a couple of years ago I contacted, if you were listening to this, you know, chatty, what I had on there and everything. That's, that's, that's a description of a blog. And according to the experts, blogs were, a blog wasn't invented until 1995, but I was blogging in 1982, I say. And I contacted a couple years ago, I believe, uh, Rick Manning, and I, I think he was in Nashville or Knoxville or someplace, and he uh, was the online, I believe, publisher of the Metropolitan Newspaper or something in, in that area. I'm probably getting this wrong. If Rick's listening or, or watching this, I'm sorry. Leave a note and correct it. Uh, and anyway, I said, you know, hey, you know, do you think, and he, you know, that I may have been the inventor of blogging? And he says, yeah, Jim, I think, you know, I think you may have been. So, 
I want all of you who are using the internet here uh, to just send me one dollar because I nah I'm kidding uh, anyway let's see how this looks now because I recorded it using Streamlabs OBS and my phone is chiming it does that I don't even know why it does it anyway uh, I would I'm going to scan this and when I scan it then it'll be available someplace maybe I should scan it yeah, I'll scan it I'll put it I have a lot of stuff to it that I put off like bathing I don't put off eating